I've worked with um, woodworking hand planes for 50 years, and, and really I've used just about every type that comes on the market. But you know, sometimes new things come to market. 10 years ago, bevel up planes started to be made, remanufactured, and then they were presented as being the um, new age plane that we're going to, that, you know, these planes were going to transform the way we work wood. And that's very much how it's, I think, it's being portrayed today. But we tend to dismiss some of these old planes like this one, you know, two, three hundred year old, four hundred year old planes been going a long time. And um, we tend to look at the old planes as being old fashioned. They don't quite work. They didn't work that well. But, you, you know, you really do have to think about the era that you're living in now and then compare the woodworking we have today with the woodworking of two and three hundred years ago. And that was the era when hand woodworking was at its peak. It was the zenith of the tradition of handwork, and the work was the most exemplary in the history of Western woodworking. Nothing today even comes close to what those craftsmen, those everyday workmen, were working with and what they were producing. Nothing is, is anywhere near. And yet we have this high, uh, skillful technology. We've got these... Um, cryogenic steels, we've got this uh, ductile iron that they didn't have back then, um, that we should be at the pinnacle today, but we're really not. And so I wanted to re-examine a couple of things. Some of you have written in, and um, you know, we've just uh, shown you some video footage of, um, of the, the comparison between a bevel up, bevel down plane. But what I wanted to do was take this old plane here. This is a piece of oak, it's inch and a half wide and um, it's just standard oak, nothing special about it. So we're gonna take some shavings, and I want you to take a look at the shavings and just draw a comparison for yourself. I know that these planes work very well, so let's take a look at them, let's look at the shavings, let's look at the plane in action, because this is where it really matters. So I've got a four foot long piece of oak here, um, I've got it uh, on edge so I can, you know, I've got the grain so it's gonna be the most consistent for the planes for all of the planes as I work through each one. And you look at what we get, and, and then we can draw a comparison at the end of this. And I'll give you my verdict of, uh, of these different planes and tell you how I think they work. So straight off, we're going to look at this wooden plane. This is just a wooden jack. These are all jack planes. They're all with their uh, original thickness iron, so most of them have the thin iron. So these four here are the standard Bailey pattern uh, hand uh, planes, bench planes. I've got uh, a Veritas here that's got a thicker iron, about twice as thick as the standard iron. And I've got this one that comes again with the original iron in it. And so let's take a shaving or two with this one and see how this one works here. So this is your wooden plane, bench plane here. It's working very nicely. I love the, the way I feel about this is it's almost too light on the surface of the wood. Minor adjustment, take a little bit thicker shaving. You know, when I, I look inside the throat of the plane and I see the shavings just curling up inside and I see how these planes were abandoned, not because they didn't work and work well, but because they didn't keep pace with the industrial world. And then, um, you know, there's no resistance at all. It's almost like there's zero resistance. So I'm not actually pressing the plane down to the surface of the wood. It just pulls itself to task. And this will shave all day long. I like the way this feels. Uh, I'm getting about, this is probably a couple of thousand thick, something like that, a thousand thick, half a thousand. So let's take a look at these planes here. We've we got the Veritas plane, this is a bevel up plane. These have all been sharpened to the same level of sharpness. We've oiled the sole with just some oil here. On each one of them, they've all been oiled. And this is set to about one thousandth of an inch, I believe. So we take a couple of shavings just to level up what we just did with that uh, wooden plane. I just measured the bevel on a, a bevel up plane with a thicker iron and it's 12 millimeters of steel. That's a lot of steel to hone off just using hand methods, which we do. And on a regular plane, it's maybe four to five mil, so it's less than half the amount of steel you have to remove. So those are all considerations when, you, when you're looking at the efficacy of the planes and what you have to do to make them work. 
and this is feeling very nice. We're getting a, a consistent shaving, full length, full width off that one. So here's another plane. This is a Sorby. Uh, very standard, thin iron, not very thick at all. So, oh, oh, look at this. This is a basic Bailey pattern plane, nothing special about it. It's exactly the same thickness of iron, it's not retrofitted. It's just the standard iron that came with the plane and it works perfectly. This has got a much steeper angle on it. It's, uh, you know, it seems steeper, that's a 12 degree on the Veritas. This one's 44 degree on the Sorby. That feels about the same. Here's a Stanley. Now this is a Stanley. This is about the cheapest of all the jack planes. It's got to be junk, right? A bit thicker shaving on that one. So we'll just back the iron off just a hair. And look what we're getting again. We're skipping a little bit, but that's... Now we're getting a full length. This grain may not be... Giving me what I, want, but I love the shavings I'm getting with that. And, then that and the neat thing is, this had a certain level where I could feel the pressure. This felt exactly the same. If anything, this one felt lighter. This one felt a little bit more resistance. So here's another Stanley here. This is, this is the thinnest, cheapest Stanley uh, of, on the market as far as the jack plane goes. Uh oh, this is lovely. I look back to the 1860s when this plane came about. Leonard Bailey invented this particular plane and nothing has changed in 150 years. Barely anything changed. And I can pick up a plane from that era and go all the way through the history, decade after decade after decade, and see that that plane, the value, the efficacy of that man's engineering would still stand against all the best today. Woo! Look at this. So this is a cheapo plane. This one will cost you £25 on eBay and it's doing exactly what I got with the Veritas. So why is that? And you see, it's not just the Veritas, it's any bevel up plane. Here's a, a Sorby that I love very much. And that's doing the same. So what we're saying here is the non-bedrock Bailey pattern bench plane gives me very, very consistent shavings across the whole range. So you have to decide for yourself. I like the bevel up plane. Uh, it has a certain inline thrust that I like. So these planes produce exactly what I can get with this one and very, very consistently with thin irons. So they're about the same. It's up to you. If you want to spend on the higher dollar one, there's nothing wrong with that. If you just want to working plane that goes every day. Pick up a Stanley and take your shavings all day long. And I must say, I haven't flattened the soles of any of these planes apart from just taking off the rough edges, spending a little time on them, but not, I haven't flattened them to within a thousandth or anything like that. They give me what I really want, which is a consistent thickness of shaving and a plane that will go all day long for 50 years. I've owned my planes for 50 years and they're still working.